How to cope with a narcissistic mother-in-law. I've gotten so many requests for this one. She's talking bad about you to your own husband. She's making family gatherings miserable. She's feeding your children candy even though you told her time and time again not to do that. How do you deal? It's very simple. We are going to politely gray rock her at every turn. Every single time we see her in front of the family, we are going to be courteous and kind, but we are never going to make conversation with her. We're not going to tell her anything personal about ourselves or her son, daughter, whoever, the spouse, and we are going to become boring like a gray rock. Only answer in one word or one sentence replies so that she has nothing on us and she cannot abuse us. So what does that look like in practice? It might look like this. She asks you, how's work going? Your response is, it's going really well. Thank you so much for asking. Now, if she tries to instigate something, oh, what about that boss that didn't like you? You gray rock again. Oh, that situation's been resolved. Thank you for your concern. Now, the narcissistic mother-in-law loves to get a rise out of you by insulting you, either in front of people to humiliate you, in front of your children, or in front of your spouse, or in private. When this happens, there's so many gray rock replies you can have. You can say, I'm not sure what your intention was with that comment. You can say, this is not the time or place to talk about that right now. You could say, I would appreciate if we could change the subject. You could say, I'm sorry you feel that way. You can say, I find that comment to be offensive and I won't respond to it. You can say, that was your interpretation of events. I see it differently. Or you can simply just say, okay, and walk away. You do not have to engage with this person just because they want you to engage. You always have the option to gracefully walk away from the situation or to pull them aside and say, I would appreciate if you don't say those kinds of things in front of my children. When you are the bigger person time and time again, everybody else in the family notices that. They start to notice that the mother-in-law is the one who's the problem, not you. The mother-in-law is the one instigating the drama, not you. They will reveal themselves to be the toxic people that they are without you ever having to say anything behind their backs.